right. And we're recording. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the North Star Podcast. I'm Max. I'm Jack. This is a, dude, this is a special episode. Super this is a special episode. episode. We're in the excited. bathroom. We're in the bathroom right now. Well, I mean, if you want to call it a bathroom. It, it's not a bathroom anymore, to be honest. No, it's still the bathroom. Well, it's got like a sink, but I don't know if it like. Okay, yeah, it's got the sink. Toilet. Like, what? What are the components of a bathroom that are really necessary to call it? The a fact that it was a bathroom before. Uh, okay, I'll go with it. I'll go Shut with up. It. Okay, whatever, man. You make me so angry. You make me so angry. You're so rude off the bat, man. Sorry, my bad. I'm just, I'm a little I'm feeling a little silly today. So so today. Our special episode is uh, we've opened up the podcast for anyone to come in. Anyone can come so in. So at some point, we might just have we might just have, have just a buddy two, old yeah. pal come in and come talk to us for a bit. We are shooting during lunch right now. Um, you know, someone someone sitting there eating lunch. They could see the whiteboard outside. It just says, "Want to be on the North Star Podcast? Come in." And just anyone could come in. Or we could have no one come in. That or we could. Have, that would actually be kind of funny. That'd that be kind of funny. Okay, it wouldn't be funny. I don't agree. I don't think it'd be funny. I'd be sad. You'd be sad. I would be sad. If it would no be a little silly. In, I mean, that's just a little like depressing. It is a little depressing. I but could. anyway, anyway, the point is, we wanted to film it in the bathroom because the bathroom in the broadcast room is a hundred. Well, not a hundred percent done. There's still stuff like on the 60% floor. Percent maybe. Mm, Seventy five. Something like that. Because, so, okay. Some shout out, above shout 50. out above 50. Shout out to Dylan Price and Ben Souter because this was their entire project. They wanted to uh, turn. So, okay. The broadcast room used to be 424. Now it's 405. 405 used to be, I believe, a uh, special education room. Um, so the whole room is decked out. It has like a kitchen. It has like three different rooms. It has a green screen room, the podcast room that we typically record in. Yeah. And it had this bathroom and, uh, Dylan and Ben's idea was to turn the bathroom into a like studio movie watching thing. I don't really know. Um, we, we're kind of getting first trial here. Honestly. We are getting first trial. Actually, no, we're not getting like first, first trial. Cause Joe McKenzie got first trial. Uh, with her bathroom, with her bathroom break video. Oh, that's cool. Um, but now we have this. Yeah. So we're recording the podcast live in the bathroom, and I think this is the greatest thing. It, it kind of is. We could have ever done. I'm so a little, I'm a little nervous to be on camera. It's yeah, kinda, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous actually. I don't need to do that. I'm actually a little nervous. I'm a, I'm a little nervous actually. Okay. Okay. But anyway. Anyway. Um. Right shout now, out to uh. Let me real quick. Let me just give a shout out to Ben Souter and Dylan Price. Yeah. Also, shout out to Dylan Price for editing this entire thing. Thank you, Dylan. Um, real quick, Dylan, can you just like throw up like a picture of a burger on screen? Thank you. Dylan was also on an episode of the podcast earlier. I believe it was episode five. If not, fact check me on that, Dylan, uh, where we interviewed BVN Broadcast. After you're done watching this, go check that out. I didn't. I don't think not affect me was a thing I was thinking about. I was thinking more like I didn't think it would have as strong as an effect. Because, like, going, like, junior, se sophomore, freshman year, like, I've always been, like, fairly dedicated to my work. Like, I've been able to get things done on time and, like, keep, ma like, maintain good grades. But it's just been, it's so much harder to, like, actually, like, follow through on that this year. Yeah, okay. Here's the thing. First semester, it was fine. Like, I was, I was doing great, right? And then second semester started, and I just, like, I flipped a switch. You know what I mean? And now I just, like, don't care. Per quarter, it, it gets different, but I have a I have a terrible feeling that as soon as we get back from spring vacation, it's gonna it's just, go even worse. Yeah, I'm just not gonna want to do a thing. Like one of my teachers, uh, Miss Weir, said that um, she does like sixty percent of her points in uh, third quarter and like forty percent in fourth quarter. So, oh my god! So people don't have to actually really try as much in fourth quarter, which is kind of what I'm hoping everyone does. So I don't want to I don't want to focus any longer. I can't really do it. Yeah, I don't. It's just I don't know. I don't, I don't like I remember a few years ago there was a story on bvnnews.com go check out bvnnews.com if you haven't um and it was like three seniors describing senioritis and like it was just like I didn't expect it to be like actually a serious thing like I didn't think that it was like real mm -hmm. yeah I don't, it's just like I feel like so less motivated now that I know that I've just like I've, I've already gotten into college I know what I'm doing. It's like I don't, I don't, especially I don't for care. Like classes where I'm not gonna be like majoring in that type of thing. It's just like 
I can't do it. Right. Like math is like three times as harder to focus on uh, because I, I'm not doing anything with math once I get into college. Right. Like I might have to take a class or two, but like I'll cross that road when I get there. Like right now, I just, I can't do it. I can't yeah. want to do it. You know, like personal finance, it's just like, I don't even know, dude. Like I, I don't, there's not a, like I just can't do it. I don't want to do it. I don't like it. I, it. It's boring. No offense to Miss Gossick. Miss Gossick, you are a great teacher. Uh, love you, Miss Gossick. It's just personal finance is so boring, like so boring, dude. <laughs> you know, like I, I, I <laughs> it's so hard to stay awake in that class, like for real. Yeah, there's never been a class where I've had trouble staying awake. I've, I've had or not, I haven't had to leave, but every time we don't have like a thing we're really focusing on in business law, I just kind of say, hey, Mr. Levy, can I, can I go to the library? And I just go to the library and, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't do anything. Just get into a, like, get in, get into a bit of tomfoolery. Is that what you get into? I don't into? even get into tomfoolery, dude. I just, like, Get into some monkey I business? Just, I just sit in the courtyard, maybe, if I'm feeling frivolous or if it's nice outside. <laughs> frivolous? But, but otherwise, I just sit at the table and I just listen to music. Maybe, maybe do work if I feel like it, but yeah. I really just kind of, ch- like, relax. And it's, like, the best period ever because I don't have to do anything. Speaking of weather being nice, oh, how about that weather? How about that weather? It, I think it, I heard it's going to be a disappointment though, because in like a week it's going to go down to forty, which forty is fine. I'll I'll take forty compared to what we've been having. Yeah, but like, still, I don't know. It, it, it's they're they're teasing us for real. I'm gonna I'm gonna admit this, and it probably isn't a good thing to admit, but last week it snowed, or it, like it like the ice froze over, and uh. I didn't have time to uh, get all the ice fully off of my windshield and get to school on time. So I just carved out like a little space for myself to see, just like a little, just like a little box, and uh, just just drove. Could not see. What's up, man? Do we got a guess? Hey, you want to come talk? Oh, why not, man? Come on, bro. Come in. You can be our first guest. Come in, come in. What's your name, man? What's your name, man? You got to talk into this mic. My you can raise tie it up. On. You said tie on? Yeah, tie on. What grade you want, Doc? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore? Word. What made you want to come in? Uh, nah, I just seen the lights. It looked like a pretty nice room. It is a That's nice good. room. Oh, yeah, it I is like a nice it. room. You should uh, advertise to everyone else to come in here. Yeah. yeah, you should. We're just kind of talking to people. Honestly. Yeah, it's chill. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. chill. This is a nice chill spot. I like this. What you, you want? Do you do any sports or anything, man? Oh, yeah. I play football, uh, and I'm currently doing track. I was going to say, it looks like you do two sports. You're carrying two backpacks right now. Yeah. What events do you do? Uh, I'm going to do the 100, I'm going to do high jump, and then I'm going to do the 4x1. Uh, That's nice. Word. Yeah. I was thinking about doing track, low-key. <laughs> what would you do? Discus. Yeah, I did discus in uh, eighth grade. That I was kind of raw, I'm not going to lie. I could get that rotation. I got I got second in my uh, amongst the boys, so. What not do you think? Nasty. Is discus easy? I don't know. That's some pretty heavy stuff. Is it heavy? Is discus heavy? Really? Yeah. It doesn't look I that heavy. Like eight kgs or so. no, no, not kgs. Mm. Kilograms? No, 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 definitely not. I no, know. I think it's not that heavy. I don't remember. Yeah, I think you're thinking of shot put because oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. hard. That, that's, that's the that's heavy that's thing. The heavy one, yeah. That's the thing. Uh, Mizell Law does, and he's mm-hmm. strong. Yeah, he I is have, strong. I have like five or like three, four or five friends doing shot put, and they just talk about how they throw rocks all day. It is just like throwing. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like it's like. It's like it's like being a monkey throwing rocks in the jungle. You yeah. know what I mean? Like just hey, hucking. Oh, yeah. Do we got a new guest? Uh, I saw the fire Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, sure. I don't care. Um, we have yeah. I'm excited for spring sports to uh, start up. So, um, or, I mean, I'm doing lacrosse. So, just like for the nice weather to come and stuff like that, I'm excited for it. I don't do sports. Anyway, tie on. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. Thanks for coming in, man. Pleasure. Yeah. Coming in. I appreciate it. Congrats on being our first guest. Heck, heck yeah. Um, Skyler. 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 Nice. Oh wait, are you um, are you the one that wrote the the Books, comic yeah, book? Yeah, that's I so did. cool. I'm sure someone would remember that, but hey, no, I see it. I see the little posters around all I the time. Forgot those existed. <laughs> Memory <laughs> problems. Um, what was it about, or what oh, was your I'm inspiration not for it? Explain it, but let me. Two, one of them is about two siblings who find this random diary in, a, in their new home's treehouse. Mm-hmm. But it's all in French, and they go to their French teacher to to uh, t- to ask them if they could tra- and she could translate it for them. But this, the French teacher acts really sus, a little mm-hmm. too sus to let go of. And the other one's about 
a college dropout girl. She gets kicked out of her family for a really stupid reason, and she finds out she's not the average human. She can turn into a fox whenever she pleases. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's both sweet. books are on Barnes & Noble. So, yeah, they are not in stores, but they're on the website. Oh, dude, oh, cool. I didn't I didn't think they were on Barnes & Noble. That's sweet. I thought yeah. you just, like, made them. Yeah. Dude, that is... Dude. Also, I did make, like, a little sketchbook zine so I can show you the picture. Yeah, oh, dude. I would love to see that. That'd be sweet. If I can find the thing, that'd be absolutely delightful. <laughs> there it is. It's a little sketchbook 2021 to 2022 thing. Word. I don't have the actual physical copy cool. of it with me. But see. it's like a little zine and that I... Was sketches inside? Yeah, I scanned them in before my printer decided to be, you know, a jerk. Yeah. And not work. Yeah. Because of my new VPN. So that's fun. It happens. Yay. Happens. Yeah, and there's another book that I'm working on publishing on Lulu Press, but the, but the I'm still trying to get the interior details, like the printing guides and stuff like that done. It's a real pain, but once but there's a lot of ups and downs to it. But once you get the hang of it, it's all worth it in the end. What's the new book about? Uh, this is actually a redo of one of my very first comics, actually. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I have to pull up references so I don't mess things up. All it's good. about a girl named Leafshade is moving to him, is moving and starting new mi- a new middle school at the same time. Mm-hmm. However, she real she had no idea how magical yet dangerous her new life would be. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's I mean I mean that sounds really cool. Much, cause then yeah, because then yeah, spoilers. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to spoil your own book, That's dude. That's so cool. Exactly. Thank That's you. so cool. That sounds really cool. Hot in this room. It kind of it is. is. Yeah, there's no AC in here. Oh God, that's brutal. Yeah, yeah, it used to be a bathroom. Oh. Oh, that explains the tile. <laughs> and the sink. Oh, I forgot. Hello, sink. I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's so cool, man. Uh, how'd you, um, how, where did you draw inspiration for your books? Mm, I re- most of them come from dreams, actually. Oh, that's interesting. I actually usually don't write down my dreams. I just re- usually remember them mm-hmm. by the time I wake up. And it takes me, a- and as long as I write down so, like some important details, even when, like, a few minutes after I wake up, I can remember most of those details. Like, for example, I'm working. I wrote down like this little details for one of the dreams I had, and I know it's gonna be like, I know it's pretty decent. It's not the best, but I do put a lot of hard work into it. Yeah, I mean, if you produce two books by now, yeah, even it's more. Crazy. That, yeah, it's really impressive. I'm big on procrastination. And I yeah. constantly procrastinate, even though I'm not a big social media fan, mm-hmm. and I'm not on social media. All I have is a business email, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still procrastinate a lot. It's a serious problem. It is. It is. I what? do also work at Chicken and Pickle at the Overland Park location part time. Yeah. It's really fun there. Yeah. All my coworkers are awesome. Sophia, if you're watch if you're listening to this, shout out to you. So <laughs> Shout out Sophia. Shout out Sophia. Sophia, you rock. She doesn't she doesn't go here, but she she went to Blue Valley High. She's in I think she's in Johnson County Community College now, but she's awesome. Cool. So cool. My bosses are also really good. They're they actually know how to take a joke, which which is what I've heard not very many know how to. So yeah, yay. I think there's a couple couple people in broadcast who work at Chicken, but I think Issa's in there. Oh yeah, somewhere. Issa, yeah, I know her. she's awesome. Yeah, I think I think she's in there somewhere. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Where do you? Thank you for coming on, dude. Dude, enjoy that fruit cup. Thank yeah. That was pretty sweet. Good start. That was I'll pretty sweet. Start. Back to back. Too. Yeah, dude. There was someone who was about to come in, but then they stepped away. Yeah. I'm kind of upset. <laughs> kind of upset. Um, Maybe they'll come back. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's Please. So cool, we were, yeah. We're gonna that was really cool. To like, I don't know. We got an athlete and then we got a, a comic book writer. Yeah. Dude, I remember when I was a kid, I used to like, <laughs> I used to like sit in class and draw my own comic books and they were just like awful. They were just like the worst things. I've uh, I've always had like the like a kind of aspiration to want to write a book, but I don't feel like I could ever gather the effort or creative mind to like. I think you were telling me about that. Yeah, I I don't know what I would write at all. I think it would be more like a novel thing, if anything. But I don't. That sounds like such a difficult task at this point. You should write a write an autobiography. <laughs> I'll write about tadpoles basketball. <laughs> <laughs> tadpoles basketball. Have you guys gotten the seating yet? Uh oh shoot, <laughs> yeah we got the seating. What the hell? What what seat are you? Eleventh. Uh, Out of what? Did it break off? Ooh. I just talk like this. Hey, uh, technical difficulties. Whoa! A fire drill. You got no me. way. Fire drill mid podcast. Uh, we'll be right back. Technical difficulties, y'all.
Keep it recording. Let's not even not even cut anything. Dylan's got to listen to this. Yeah, we're recording a video time. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. You might just have to hold it, dog. Where's Caroline? Is she not? Are we, are we replacing Caroline with Reggie? Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> what the no, it's not that. Line, I, I don't know how I did that. Reggie, come on. It's All that. Right, so it's the, yeah, it's the thing on top. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You got to talk directly in the mic, Logan. Hello? Like oh, this. I think I got it. You get it? Bet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you might just have to hold it, dog. I can do this. All Actually, right. Hold on. I gotta. Well, I'm just gonna. <laughs> what is in there? You All right. Back it? No, I gotta pack my my gum. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, anyway. Well, so we've recovered from the technical difficulty. Reggie, we're back. We're gonna have to speak right into the mic, by the way. Yeah, Reggie, you can't lean back. Um, no. And we've come back with two n- new guests. Uh, Mr. Mr. Logan I'd, Morgan. I'd like Hello. to. I'd like and, and Reginald Smith. Hi. Um, but I'd like to cover that fire drill really quick. Uh, we assume someone just pulled pulled the alarm because they never do it during lunch, and the SROs were a little confused. So yeah, it wasn't a drill. It was not a drill. So yeah. Teachers got no email, can't confirm. So the school's burning down, and we're going to still record. Uh, yeah, because I, the uh, show must go on. I we still smell smoke. Sp- I, I smell smoke. You do? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> that might just Damn, be that sucks. that sucks. That sucks. Oh, well. But um, Logan did want to talk about Elden Ring. Okay, y'all. Listen, y'all haven't played Elden Ring. Play Elden Ring. It's fun. <laughs> what Dude, is Elden one. Ring, Logan? Elden Ring, like, y'all know Dark Souls? I do know Dark it, Souls. It's like a video game? It's like Dark Souls. Yeah. But if they did something with, like, Lord of the Rings. Right. And it's, like, really hard. I'm hearing you. Like, it's absurdly difficult. I'm hearing you. Y'all yeah. seen Harry Potter? I actually heard that's really I haven't cool. seen Harry Potter. It's, like, one Harry of the Potter. harder, like, Dark Souls games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... You get a horse. Yeah, but you get a horse. They can do two jumps. Wasn't there two horse? jumps? Dang. Two oh, jumps. Wait, two jumps. Two jumps. Like there? platformers horse. and stuff. Whoa. And it's wait, like whoa. open world, bro. Cool. Oh, that's fun. That is cool. That's cool. Yeah. Like, how many like things can you actually do in the game? Is it like limitless? Oh, it's huge. It's like uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. It's like that big. But horse can only do two jumps. Spell that did like twenty thousand damage. Oh yeah. Wait. Like so the game. Wait. 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 So you're telling me the game's that big, but the horse can only do two jumps? Only two jumps. No. Trust me, dude. The two jumps get you far. All right. Okay. So all, right. Big, all right. Two all right. big strong jumps. Two big jumps. Like, like really I big ran, jumps. Last night, you know, I was gaming. Yeah. As, as you do. As dragon, you do. As you do. Ran into this dragon in the middle of the lake. Uh-huh. Right. Mm, yeah. Got molly whopped. But, oh, yeah. you know, things happen. Took me a few tries. I gave up. I went to bed. But <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is the horse didn't jump. The horse did not jump enough. high enough. So the dragon does this like fire attack. And if you get hit by it, it legit does like 80% of your health. That's awesome. And That's you only fair. get, you get like four that heals. Sucks. That does it's, suck. It's just, it's it's really hard, but it's fun. It's addictive. Do you guys play video games much? I'm a big Fortnite guy. Oh, big Fortnite. Fortnite guy. I post. Yeah, I I got, no. Y'all never seen Spider-Man hitting the gritty. No, I, p- <laughs> <laughs> I, p- I post my Fortnite wins on my Snapchat story unironically. Mm. Oh, for real? Because like I'm cracked. Oh, yeah, no, I get it. Uh, like six a night. I'm yeah, cracked. He's actually he's cracked out. He gets you nutty. Many, he gets many wins. I'm proud to say I played, I played Fortnite. Fortnite the first uh, the first day it came out. I uh, haven't touched it since. You play any other video games, man? Oh yeah, yeah. I know. I play all the. Vid- I play Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft yeah. is classic. fun. Minecraft classic. Yeah. Play uh, every now and then I boot up GTA Five. Mm-hmm. Every now and then. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Another Still classic. Play Battlefield One every now and then. Oh, Battlefield One is fun. Yeah. yeah. You know, Battlefield. What is it? Twenty forty. I was playing it last night actually. Yeah. Twenty forty. Twenty forty two. Twenty forty two. Not gonna lie, kind of disappointing. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, it does so, happen. Which I, that actually scared me for like, cause like no games have come out because of COVID. They all got pushed yeah, back. There was delays. there was there was a uh, Cyberpunk, but it was bad. Uh, Cyberpunk Cyberpunk actually just got it's, a new update. Uh, it's like upgrade. They, they did Gen fix Con. it they in PS5. It. I was okay. Hunter Jackson had a copy of the game, and he said it was bad, and he like beat it already. And so he's gonna give it to me, and then he just like never gave it to me. So I, I don't really have now an opinion on it. it. Yeah. Now I he can give it to me. I learned my lesson not them. to pre-order games anymore. Mm-hmm. Yep. After I made the horrendous mistake of ordering um, Anthem. Oh Ooh, my god, that's bad. That's disgusting. That's bad. That's it was bad. really early. Anthem. I saw one trailer. I don't even know it. 
Anthem is Anthem. not a good game. It's not a good game. It's a terrible game. There's there's one game that I used to play religiously, and it's just like the worst game ever. It's called a Rogue Company. Mm. Oh, you've I heard of Rogue that. Company? Yeah, it's a horrible game. Is it? <laughs> it's so buggy. Uh, Root. <laughs> you didn't know about the sink? I did not know about. Is the there sink. no toilet? This used to be yeah. This used to be a bathroom. What happened to the toilet? Dang. Took it out. Oh, was this the project room? This was. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, and now it's the broadcast room. Did you not know that? I knew about the couch, but I didn't expect. No. we Well, okay, we can't take the sink out because it'll, like, spray water everywhere. <laughs> I can get you. I know a guy. You know a guy? For sure. All right. All you right. can maybe, like, change it out into, like, a wall toilet. Like, oh, for real? No. Oh, like a, a urinal? Like a urinal? No, no, no. <laughs> you can make it that into a lamp, dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a point. Yeah. Oh, and just no, nah, just make a water, water lamp. Water like a, we do got the Squidward. You, you should like, get like a, not like a lamp going on, like here. a fountain of like the one in Plaza. Ooh, yeah, we yeah. get like oh, a oh yeah yeah like yeah yeah. yeah. Like but we don't put like the down. we don't put the fountain part in. We just like take the sink out and just let it just spray water. Yeah, no <laughs> clean. We, we just have a don't clean it. Do not clean it. Once the bucket fills, too bad. Leave that up. Leave that up to other people. That's not your problem. Yeah, you know, Mister Mister Hugh, I can deal with that. Yeah, it'd be a pretty cool room after that. Yeah, once you once you get the fountain installed, I think this room could be pretty roomy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Some, yeah. like, my water room has damage a water on fountain, so like, I don't know Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I got three water fountains in my room. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dang, for real? <laughs> they, yeah, they come from the ceiling. I got three fire hydrants. <laughs> Did someone just come in? Um, what do you, what do you think there. you're doing? Oh, they closed the door. They closed it. The, oh, the door isn't even open. Mm. Huh? The door isn't propped open. Oh, yeah. Pro- okay. Uh well anyway well, you guys have exceeded you, you guys have exceeded have your time, time limit. limit we we've been trying to keep everyone between like five seven minutes I, I have one question for you yeah are they like outdoor water fountains like really big expensive outdoor water fountains no in your they're room? actually called leaks um, oh well, that's less fun yeah unless you like I'm lying them. there's no leaks in my home hey Dylan cut but, this entire part okay. no, anyway no, hey Logan and Reggie thanks for coming on good to see you guys yeah, you guys you. Have ex- you have exceeded thank your time you. limit you for guys, real can you guys yeah, do that's us like a favor nickname. and prop open the door when you guys head out yeah yeah for yeah. sure man hey, thanks thank for coming you in, uh, thank you I, I, I think you. there's a there's a door stop somewhere. Th- I love you Reggie I will always see exceed you, your time limit see you guys okay get out of here hope you guys have a wonderful lunch get out of here They went a little long. They went a little long. They did go a little long, but it was, at least it was two guests and not just, like, one person. Yeah. So maybe maybe we'll get another buddy in here. Soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. they need to, We needed another, another buddy in here. Anyway, can uh, we talk about that fire drill? Yeah, that was really that was, insane. Yeah, that was nuts. And, and we just That was to, nuts. Uh, I, I assume Dylan cut it, but there was an announcement where they just came over Mike, and they were like, okay, so third and fourth lunch, you guys are together now, and uh, second lunch. You guys go you until 12.50. And it's uh twelve, not even twelve thirty. Wait, what? Twelve fifty? Yeah, that's what she said. That doesn't even make sense. I know, I know. Maybe they it's messed up. Lunch period? Yeah, I, dude, this is just broken. I can't lie. <laughs> You're just gonna have to hold that mic, dog. I, I mean, I'm fine with holding it, but like, I want to fix it because it's not mine. At the end of the day, okay. Did I'm you get not, it? I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, okay. Like yeah, this. just don't touch, touch don't touch it. it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. Um. Anyway, I I'm like. 80% sure someone pulled the... Someone yeah, no, dude, there's nothing burning, all right? There's no way anything burned. That has literally like never happened. That's like a senior prank. That would be like the worst. That thing. is a horrible I, senior I prank. I hate... Speaking of, dude, we don't, like, no one can figure yeah. out what we're going to do. Well, yeah, because... No well, one even we, mentions it. We had it. one where we were going to swap classes with Northwest, and then they bailed on us, which is... No, it was insane. West, and then they bailed on us. No, Was it? Yeah, it was West. Huh. And everyone bailed. I signed up for it, too. Yeah, I did, too. And then I heard it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> so lame. That, it was so that lame. Been funny. That would have been so funny. I guess it's still an option, but we need to figure it out. We need to actually plan. Yeah. Also, BBN Assassins is starting up. I'm very excited. I've already si- I've signed up for Assassins. I'm very excited. I hope I get you. In. I would kill you right here in this podcast room. Actually, wait. No, I couldn't. It's no schools. Yeah, school isn't allowed. Well, I school w- is off limits. I would get you. I would torture you. I'd torment you. I, I'd would you? in your walls. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm in your walls, Jack Toll. I know where you live. Can't touch it. Don't touch um, it. Anyways. I would, I would, I would vilely destroy you. I don't think that would happen. Would betray your trust. I don't think that would happen. Can we get like a vote on the YouTube video? I think we can do that. Can we throw up a vote? Who would win uh, in an assassin's fight between me and Jack Toll? Uh, like a fist fight? No, an assassin's fight. Oh, an assassin's fight. Like okay. who would get who first? And it would be me. Well, I would destroy you. Well, okay, let's think about it like this. Who has more time consuming things in their life? Probably me. you. 
And who's often more in public because of those time consuming things? Okay, but you gotta think about you gotta think about this. In the rules, I believe it is stated that uh places of like like places of employment are off limits. Well, but but after they are after they get out of work then they can not like in their work you can't get them, but like after their hour of work. I thought the ten minute parking rule the, the parking lot rule applied everywhere. I haven't read all the rules yet to be honest. I have read the rules extensively. I know those rules like Maybe the back of my hand. Of that. Yeah, I would. No, I'd I would you. destroy you. I've I would quit. destroy you. Isn't there a thing where you can like defend yourself with a water pistol? Yeah, if you shoot the person, uh, if you shoot the person who's coming to get you first, like before they get you, you have I think a either ten to thirty minute grace period. Okay. And then I'm not concerned if you come after me. I have quicker reflexes. Really. I don't. I don't, know. I, I don't know. We can't really test that or anything. I have pretty quick reflexes. I actually don't have very quick. Re- I kind of. I have like medium reflexes. Okay, so next. But I'm, but I'm agile. So next uh, podcast, we're gonna film it, and it's gonna be a skills challenge. It's gonna be a skills challenge. Taco Bell skills challenge. We're gonna <laughs> <laughs> basketball skills challenge, and then and a water polo skills challenge, and then a wrestling match. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we have different weight classes. That's not fair. <laughs> Who cares? I'll run away. I'll tire you. <laughs> you'll tire me. I'll you'll get me run, all. I'll you'll run in circles. You'll get me all time. tuckered out. <laughs> Did you finish your uh, broadcast video? Nope. No spoilers though. Not yet. I haven't finished it yet. I'm work. I'm staying after I'm school today to, to, to work products. on it. Um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Which segment? Stay was tuned. To Stay tuned for that. Uh, Dylan, bleep this out. Okay, Dylan, you can unbleep now. Yep. Uh, also, Dylan, can you uh, throw up a picture of... Uh, uh, Dylan, can you throw up a picture of Ryan Parisi real quick? Thank yeah, you. Thanks, Ryan Parisi. He edited one of our podcasts. He did. He did, because we didn't have time. Should we just run outside and yell, Hey, come here, and then just put back in? <laughs> Maybe. I don't That'd know. kind of fun. I don't know. Go do it, Max. I don't want No, I don't want to. I'll do it. Okay, go do it. Jack is going to uh, get <laughs> recruit some people to be on the North Star podcast right now. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm your entertainment. I'm your entertainment for the meantime. I'll, I'll sing a song for you. Uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. I don't, I don't know the rest. Um, what's up, dog? Is that a Priest Holmes jersey? Nice, dog. You've been recruited. Come in. Come in. Take a seat. We're going to dedicate you as a Chiefs fan since you are wearing a Priest Holmes jersey. You got to talk directly in the mic, though. Yep. This mic. Oh, he doesn't want to. You don't think you can do it? You just want chill? Oh, well, to some extent. No, it's not live. We're filming it. But it's it's a film. Yeah, we're filming it. Yeah. Yeah. Ever heard of the? You ever heard of the North Star, North Star podcast? podcast? That's sad. Wow, Tune dude, in. our posters on the wall and everything. Yeah, sir. honestly, I think those posters kind of flopped. They did. Sadly, they did. Did you break the mic again? Uh, yeah, I dude, you. I hate you. Shut up, man. So, what do you just want to chill here? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can just chill here like for like five. for like two minutes. Just, yeah, just like chill. We got to give you a time limit. Sadly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a bathroom that has been renovated into a uh, into a studio. Into a studio and this a is, bathroom. Yeah. With no toilet. It's pretty chill. Does the sink work? The sink does work. You want to try it? Do you want to turn on the sink? No? No. All right. Okay. I like this guy. He just chills. Just chilling out. This is just a, this is just a I normal asked, dude for real. I asked a big old group. <laughs> normal guy for real. <clears throat> I asked a big old group of them if they wanted to come in. He was, he no just one said that. He decided to walk on in. Well, so. Good on you, dude. Good on you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming, man. Yeah. I'm glad that I'm glad you could join us. And um, anyways, what were we talking about before? I I don't remember. Exit? I don't remember. It was kind. Of, it was our skills challenge thing. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I could beat you in a wrestling match for real. Well, uh, yeah, probably because you've actually trained. I could yeah. beat you in a cross match. No. Exactly. No. Exactly. No. Exactly. That's okay. What yeah. I thought. Yeah. Probably. Uh, but um, lacrosse is finally starting. I'm so excited for the actual season. I think we're going to be very good this year. Like, well, I think we will be very good this year. But 
Uh, I need to wait for our first game, which is against No Valley, but it's not here, so I'm not gonna okay. advertise it. Dude, I for real don't know anything about lacrosse. Like, the, yeah, okay, like I'm saying, like the team. Like I could like describe it, but like, like the team, like okay, the team is like Blue Valley East Side, right? Yeah, it's Blue Valley and Blue Valley North, and then we have like two kids from Ray Peck and Shawnee Mission North or South. That's so very weird. weird. That is a very weird. But like, there's only Sha- one Shawnee. There's a Shawnee Mission East team, and uh, that's like a combination of like West and something else. There's a United team, which is like the Lee Summit teams, excluding Lee Summit West. There's Mill Valley. There's a uh, yeah. There's 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 a uh, South Blue Valley Southwest, which is also has Northwest on the team. That's weird. And then Blue Valley West has its own team, but it's pretty small, and they're usually not very good. Yeah. Sorry. I don't West. know. West. I'll keep it up. My five minutes is up. Hey, peace out, dog. Thanks. Thanks for Hope chilling. You your time. Thanks for chilling, homie. I like that guy. I like that guy, too. <laughs> he's a cool guy. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he's a, he stuck to his word. Hey, he's, he's, a, he's just chilled here, for real. Normal oh. dude, for real. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. All right. Anyway, lacrosse. It, it's lax season. Yeah, it is. And um, we need to – or uh, daily practices started Monday like everyone else. Everyone else's sport. That's that's every day, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, we daily practices. We play a team from Omaha, Omaha like this weekend. What? Or maybe not this weekend, but sometime soon. Did you I win? a little confused on uh, why, but mm. we are. I think I might even be out of town for the game, so. Whatever. Is the team – the team's like mostly North kids, right? Yeah, it's that's like, what I thought. I'd say it's like eighty percent North kids. Yeah, maybe a little more. No, probably eighty. Uh-huh. Um, BV Eastside best best lacrosse team in the nation. Yeah, and if you want to play, uh, come on out, man. Uh, feel free. <laughs> are, are you, wait, are you just saying like I'm you're just taking spots? Yeah, go ahead. You're just like join. you just stick it. Hello, Mr. Hewitt. Do you want to be on? Yeah. Do you want to be on, Mr. Hewitt? Do you want to be on? I haven't had lunch yet. Uh, Sorry. will you be on? Uh, sure. Sweet. Well, we've had like we've had like five people, so yeah, that's solid so far. Um. It hasn't it hasn't been the greatest success. I thought it was going to be a lot more. Well, I mean, we still got a lot of time left to be honest. We do have a lot of time left. Uh, We've been recording for 56 minutes. Well, no, we haven't because we had a t- 30 minute fire drill that took forever. Okay, but the SD cards are going to run out. Okay, well then we get a new one. Okay. Um, Whatever. I kind of want someone else to come in, but I don't think anyone else is going to see Should we get someone from broadcast room. Sure. Just get like the most interesting person. Yeah, actually, get Isa. Did you get Isa? Who'd you get? Who's coming in? This is a surprise. Oh, it's Scarlett and Audrey. And uh, I don't know your name. We do only I'm sorry. Have, we do Caroline. Only have two yes. Seats, so we do only have two here seats. Here, but, um, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Caroline left. Go ahead and introduce yourselves and. Um, I don't know why you want to be here. Like, what do you guys want to talk about? Um, yeah. Hi, I'm Audrey Branner, and I'm a sophomore, um, obviously can, at BVN. Scarlett, you can pick up the mic. You, the, the, <laughs> mic is, the mic is mobile. Yeah. Hi, I'm Scarlett Jones. You, you got to get, like, closer to the mic, dog. I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> I'm Scarlett Jones. I am a senior. Uh, you don't have to, like, formally introduce yourself. It's okay. I mean, you can Yeah, just, like, this is just a conversation, Jones. Scarlett. It's yeah. really not... I'm Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am, yeah. Oh, your mic's falling. <laughs> That's the woman breathe. Just, like just, just, maybe like just, just maybe adjust, adjust, adjust that kinda, knob. Yeah, adjust yeah, that yeah, knob yeah, right, like right there. Yep. Yeah. It, just tighten it. Yep. Yeah. Should be good. It seems tight. Okay. Well, then just, well, hold it. Okay. <laughs> maybe it's just broken. Uh, maybe you, whatever. What do you guys want to come talk about? Yeah. Um, you want to talk about you distantly I have something to ask something. Okay. Scarlett can we talk about uh the video that fell through can we talk about that you are we allowed to talk, talk about about it? <laughs> I kind of want to talk about you it talk about the video that fell through I kind of want to talk about the video that fell through what was the video that fell through the describe video that th- fell through so first administration asked us to do a video about north time coming back fourth quarter and does uh, everyone know that information by the way is that like no uh, that's not uh, how. That's okay. Eh, it'll, come it'll come out. It'll come out today. Out it'll no. It'll come out on yeah, Friday. No, so now cool. everyone who's so now it, yeah. So now it'll come out on Friday. Like first. Sorry, first. administration. Um, 
They can cry. They can, yeah, yeah, f- yeah cry um, about it. Cool. I feel like pretty much everyone knows at this point. Yeah, I yeah. Think so. Mm. Whatever. Anyways. Where. Anyways, they asked us to do a video, and we spent two weeks like writing a script. We were in meetings with them for two weeks, and we got greenlit on a lot of stuff. And then they kind of said, "Okay, this is all good. We plan to shoot. We got a crew together." And they told us no last week on Friday. So a little mess, less minute. So we quit the project and we've been, we've moved on and yeah, we're just not doing anything. On to bigger and better things. I on to bigger and better things. Did I they say why they said no? Um, would you like to, would you like to tell the audience the ideas that we were want presented? to <laughs> lube our student Dylan Price up and slide him across the hallway covered in baby oil. And Ryan Uh and Ben. And Ryan and Ben. And they did not like that. I believe there was also a hot tub in Yes, we also wanted to bring a hot tub in. We had that planned out. You guys come up with very elaborate ideas for having very limited area of... We were approached as creatives. It was... We gotta be creative. It was mostly Ryan. (laughs) (laughs) It was, yeah. It was mostly Ryan. Yeah. I, I can understand why they rejected the idea. Yeah. Like 100%. Yes. But they did say yes. <laughs> they did say yes. Miss Bosch was very enthusiastic, and Coach Cox was. They even offered to pay for it. Oh. Right. They well. did say yes, yeah, and then just saying no last second, not cool. Not cool. No, not, that is not cool. Mm-hmm. That's not cool. It worked out, though, because I brought her in because I'm doing something for the Instagram where I'm just going to put out something where it's like, you know how in The Sims people like make them do really, really dumb stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm doing that, but like the students of BBN control me. <laughs> so like that like that one German 985 video do you not oh dude he did this he, he's a twitch streamer and he did this whole stream it was a three day stream where people just controlled what he did in a fake house and it was the <laughs> it was so funny it's essentially what I'm it's like students of BBN will vote and then I'll do it and she'll film for me so it I just I gave you well you know so you don't have to I got a job now yeah, yeah. so you don't have to <laughs> just make up a project you have a purpose I've also made up a project last minute before, but I'd just rather not do it. I'd <laughs> rather not have the stress. Yeah. But wasn't the Valentine's Day North Report last minute? Or that was wasn't that planned? Last minute. I worked on that for two weeks and I got very happy with the results. That was a very good North Report. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I uh, love our video on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> our video is pretty good. I was I was very excited to put that out because it's like felt like everybody could relate to that if they've been in a relationship before. It's like you don't have to relate to, like, the storyline, but it's still, like, use the, like, what's the word? I'm blanking. Use the recommendations to help yourself. Exactly. It's, nice. mm. so it's like, Valentine's Day is nice for people who are in a relationship, but it's also, like, there's people who are suffering and, like, like either just got broken up with because we researched it, and it's their chance of getting broken up with on Valentine's Day is higher than normal. So <laughs> we thought it was like they okay. So Jack can't relate. No. He's never been in a relationship yeah, before. Jack can't next. relate. No, I no, I can't relate. One day. That's why I can't can relate. I no, you can't. No, yeah, I can. No, Jack cannot relate. No, you can't. I Shut broke up. up with you, Max. You did oh. break up with me. Yeah. Oh wow. You did. Like Jack won't let me take him to prom. Oh, that, that's actually you're spreading false information. No, that's true. You, you we, said we haven't we haven't worked it out yet. Okay. Do we need group okay. therapy? No, maybe. No, we can no. Be I don't. Jack and I need. <laughs> don't need it there. We Jack and I can ta- can handle this outside of recording. We're, honestly, we're civilized. We're civilized no, men. We're, not. we're willing. No, to we're not. Therapy for you guys. Uh, I'll be okay. Maybe maybe not live on podcast, but <laughs> yeah, you know later. We can we can do it a separate time. For you. Yeah yeah. But it's like when you do get in a relationship, you can look back on the video. Of course. It Whenever that happens to you, Jack, I did it again. You br- <laughs> dude, stop breaking the mic. <laughs> it's not breaking. It's just. I falling. think it's breaking. Okay. I think well, he's done this. Denial. He's done this like five times. The first stage of grief is denial. <gasps> there we go. Yes. That's bad. Nice. Okay. Well, I feel like you should know how the mics works, right? Yeah, I have never used a podcast mic before. Well, it's it looks pretty self-explanatory. Not all of us know how to work mics. Yes. Come on. It's just a mic. No. <laughs> it's just a mic. Jack clearly doesn't know how to work a mic. <laughs> Well, I don't know. It's just been this week, honestly, which is kind of unfortunate. The time that we're on camera is when yeah. it falls apart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. You said it. The you said at the beginning you were getting a little nervous. I'm a, no- a little nervous. Why is this one filmed? Uh, because we thought it would be funny. 
To be in the bathroom? Yeah. That'd be interesting. And we wanted to be the first people to use the bathroom. Good. Plus, the ivy looks nice. Mm-hmm. See, that's, cool. that, that's on Dylan, dude. He, he yeah. did that. Dylan, ooh. All the decorations, that's on Dylan. We're just doing stuff in here. Dylan did the decorations? Yeah, we actually did yeah. decorate a thing. We just kind of stole the bathroom. Yeah, we stole the bathroom. Painting? Where is your Minecraft I don't know. They're, they're figuring everything <laughs> out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is my <laughs> Minecraft painting? Is it in here? I don't know. Oh, it's gone. Down. It's probably somewhere. I am planning on making in Minecraft, you know, like the big like skull on fire one. Yeah, I asked for it. Yeah, that was yours. And then Ryan also wanted the the pig lady. Oh, I know the pig lady. So I'm thinking up there, I'll make those and I'll get a big canvas. Nice. So awesome. Very excited. Very excited for that. <laughs> I th- dude, this bathroom isn't even like fully done, and it's still look it, like it's already looking sweet. So I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for the bathroom. Are you guys gonna repaint the walls? No, I think we're gonna cover, cover it with it stuff. Yeah. Just put paint and put the, up there. Finally, give the <laughs> labyrinth the Jareth the Goblin King posters <laughs> some. <laughs> much oh <easier>. my gosh! <laughs> give the posters something. No, I like the labyrinth, but it's you know it, it blocks out the light like perfectly. You know what I mean? I feel like but the Jared left deserves light. better. True. David Bowie deserves better. David Bowie deserves better. I do like the blocking of the light too though. Like I feel like with all the LEDs, it's nice to have no light and it's just Yeah. I it's like very LEDs. dark. I enjoy it. It makes me happy. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Yeah, you guys thank exceeded you. your five minute time limit. Five to seven minutes. I don't think we told like I don't think we told you guys we had a five minute time. Either yeah. Either <laughs> well, you exceeded it. So and get out. Yeah, Sorry. get out. Thank you for coming, though. Audrey and Scarlett, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Very appreciative. We're out. Later, y'all. See you guys. Um, if you want to, I don't care. Ask Mr. Hewitt if he wants to come yeah, on. Yeah, ask Hewitt. Okay. Okay. If you break that one more time, I swear. Dude, I swear. I swear. I swear. I, I, if it breaks one more time, I'll give up. Just give up and just hold it? Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I feel like a surgeon every time I move it. And then I still touch it again and it breaks. You could never be a surgeon, dude. No, Shit, you have shaky not. hands. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. You? Wait, what? You have shaky hands. Yeah, I know. And you said, yeah, I do, when I said, did you notice that? I said, yeah, I did. You said, do. No. Anyways. Oh, my God. I hate this kid. I actually hate this kid. I got to correct your grammar. Dude, We're gonna be editors. How are we gonna? Not why? Speak why did I decide to let you co- be the be the what podcast co-host? What do you mean? I was the one who took initiative on restarting this. I, no, I reached out to you. No, I said I want to be a co- uh, the co-host. That is just that is simply not true. I asked if you, you took initiative. Newspaper. You took and in, yeah, you asked if I was doing newspaper, and I was like, yeah, of course. And then and the, well, no, because you hadn't done the year before. Well, you were trying, but you couldn't. And then and then. And then we worked it out from there. It was a dual. It was a dual effort. All right, all right. Whatever you want to believe, dude. That's what I believe. We'll scroll all the way up in our save chats. <laughs> all right, all right. Sure. I actually won't do that. That would probably take a lot of time. That would take a lot of time. I feel like we talked about this before, but didn't didn't we uh, become friends because we sent each other videos of monkeys? No, it was uh, kind of, but it was like. I, you said you were making a monkey story, and I asked if I could be on it, and you just put me on it. And then I thought one was funny. I was like, I'm, I'll send, wait, let me send one to you or something like that. And then I just sent one to you, and you said, awesome, that one's sick. Or I, or I asked for one of your videos, like, wait, can you send me this so I can save it? And then I saved it. And I, I said, thanks. And you said, yes, sir, and put, like, the crown emoji or something like that. I was, that was did I say that? I did that. No way I did that. I, saw, I probably not. I probably have the details a little no, yeah. muddled. But crown yeah. emoji? I would never do that. But, I mean, it that was, was the blossom. Was some, that was, was the that was the blossoming of a beautiful friendship. Yeah. <laughs> it it, it kind of just randomly blossomed from there. That was, was yeah. After we became webinars, that any, like, we actually became friends. Yeah. Because we still, like, we'd only, we'd only done that, had that, like, one or two interaction. And then, yeah. Then... Then after we had our web editor meeting, we became friends, more mostly. I think like, well, I think even before that, I was like, who, who is Jack Toll? 
I was like, I don't know well, who I Jack Toll is. I heard your name, but that was about it. <laughs> yeah, like, like I, like I saw, I saw that you had like hit me up, and I was like, who is this guy? I was like, uh, do I know? Like, do I know this guy? Flower. Just yeah, you are a wallflower, Jack. I'm reading a book, or uh, the book called Perks to Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's actually a really good book. I've heard the movie's good. I haven't seen the movie. I'm sh- I'm I'm sure it's good. I don't. There's someone in it who like is in like every movie. Whatever. It's not important right now. Ryan Gosling. No. Just made that up. No. Ryan got dude. Ryan Gosling is not in Perks of Being a Wallflower. Okay. Well, that is the least Ryan Gosling movie ever. Well, maybe he was branching out. It was released in like 2002 or something like that. It's oh. an old movie. Yeah. No. I don't. No. No. I have to sit kind of awkwardly to talk into this mic. I feel a little weird. Horrible pot. You have the worst posture I've ever seen. Shut up. You're one. I can't. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I can't. I'm not one to talk. Dylan, if there's any proof of my posture in this video, can you cut it out? Actually, no, include it. No, cut it out, please. Actually, like not not even a joke. Cut it out. But include it. Is that Isa here in there? Can we get Isa on? That's Joe. Grab Issa. Can we just like just like fight for five minutes? Oh my god. We're, we, you wanna just be for five Wait, minutes? What is going on? We're, ta- we're, we're filming. We're s- filming the we're podcast. A step further. We're being more creative than you yeah. guys. That's what's yeah. Yeah. This was this was the three weeks of planning. This was what it went into. Uh, we're on our season uh, one between two break. Oh, we just finished yeah. season one. Where, where's, where's your where's your where's your time frame on that? What's the difference between one and two? What like what broke uh, that? Loki, don't know. I just need a break. See, you know, you can't you just do that. On the North you know, Star from what I've heard, also, you don't even like edit your podcast. You just like take the full recording and just put it out. You heard that from me, actually. Yeah, yeah. we're unfiltered. That's the whole point. Uh huh. No, uh-huh. no, I can't. Uh, you guys no. have to do like eight takes. Imagine. Actually, no, we don't. We really don't. We've never we've never had to redo takes. We we take our. Whatever. Not, Be jealous. Oh out. my God. Spencer. Are we getting a guest? Spencer Ryan, Ryan. and Ryan you guys, Parisi. You guys want to come on? We're still going. Yeah. How long has this been going on? Oh. This one's done. How? Oh, I wonder how long that one's been done. And this one's. Oh yeah, because it doesn't have the red light. Where are you guys posting this? Uh, well, YouTube. Should, should, this should we grab a second SD card really quick? Yeah, we probably should. I wonder how long that one's been dead. That would R.I.P. the North Star uh, podcast, be, everyone. That'd actually be really funny uh, if it was just you to talking. Sophie and Issa unfiltered. Do not do that. Yeah, do not do that. Dylan censored that. Actually. Do not. Is that Jake Sayers? Hi, Jake you're Sayers. Not rec- you're not even editing this. No, we're not gonna edit this. Well, we're kind. Well, editing. Dylan's gonna edit this. Dylan's gonna, Dylan's gonna edit this because we don't want edit to. Their own oh stuff. my god. We well, do edit yeah, our own yeah, stuff. We do edit our own stuff. The only thing. Okay, the only things that we haven't edited. Are you guys explicit? No. Okay, well, now you so are. Dylan now has to censor Okay, that. Dylan has to censor that. You're putting more work on Dylan. My bad, Dylan. My bad. Do not. Dude, okay, don't hit the soundboard. You guys are like children. Go back inside. Okay, peace out. I don't know if these cameras are recording or not, but. That one's not. That one's not. That one is. It was fun, guys. You can go step in front of that one. Yeah, you can sit, you can sit um, in this one. Inferior podcast. This is not an inferior podcast. Yeah, I can't find it. Oh, sh. Okay. Whoa. The superior podcast is. We have to cut this whole segment, dude. This is this has gone this has gone so south. This has gone so south, dude. Kind of. Yeah. Well, there was a fire drill in the middle of the recording. Wait, did you get the fire drill? We did get the. We, throw that in. Throw that in. Throw that in. Throw that in. I I, I dude I. What? It's it, we've just been going. We've just been going. Um, the fire drill. All right, so I guess this the mic fell, falls off every five minutes. Yeah, dude, this is kind of. No, this is going on the YouTube channel. The, and Dylan's gonna edit it. That's crazy. Oh, it was. Yeah. That sucks. Cool. That's all we need. Cool. Okay. Anyway, uh, Dylan, can you throw up a picture of Matt Crossland playing basketball, if that exists? And losing. And losing. Hey, I had 13 last game. You had 13 last game. Get on here. Get on here, Matt. Get on here, Matt. Get on here, Matt. Matt, talk about your bad basketball team. All right. So, uh, so rec basketball right now. Uh, 
We won our first two games, and we have not won a game since. So because you're bad. Dang. Uh, we have three. Uh, wins, yeah, so. I'm pretty bad. We we have um, three wins, so we're better than you. Temples are better, and we yeah. beat your team. So yeah, and I stole mean, your player. <laughs> our best player. I don't even know. All of us suck. So. Actually, Jordan. <laughs> the best all of us. Whole team all is us bad. Right. Whole team's bad. Yeah. Why are you being yeah. so negative against your own team, dude? I don't know, man. They just they just take it so seriously, which I find so funny. Like. Well, we have two guys. Yeah. Well, you know, Richard, if you guys hear this, uh, I heard you guys were a little upset about your little loss. <laughs> a little, <laughs> a little salty. A little bit I'm salty. I'm glad that you yeah, guys Yeah, they're a little mad. salty. Our game last night, we scored, it was 63-65. That was the final score of the game. Against Donda, right? Yeah, against Donda. Yeah. Um, it was the best game we ever played, and I don't even know how we lost that game. So Who scored the most? Uh, I think it was Jordan. He had like 15. Oh, Jordan played with that team? Yeah, he he played with us. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me, Jordan, and Luke, we combined for forty five. So we uh pretty solid. Welcome back, Logan. We have like eight people in here now. That's wild. Dude. Okay. Wow, now now is when it's popping. Okay. Uh yeah. You wanna send in Owen or something? <laughs> Owen figure it out. Go here here, Logan, here's here's your job. Go find just someone. Just someone. Someone that would be fun. And bring here. him here. Caroline Shoemaker. Or just like a random guy, bring a random. No, guy. like someone you don't even we know. Did have yeah, a random like, guy in here. Hey, come on the podcast. Yeah, like just yeah, just grab okay, okay. some kid. Also, also, we're gonna need to clear out this room soon. Otherwise, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> what it, what You're gonna it, what? I'm gonna get overstimulated. Twenty nine. What? Yeah, that one's that one's twenty eight. That one's twenty nine. Uh, so that means it'll be done. At we're still waiting on Hewitt. Oh yeah, we need Hewitt in here for what? All right, to, for an interview. Yeah. Oh. Okay, everyone, clear out. Who'd you find? Who are you? Oh, Matt, get here, up. Here. Well, clear out, everyone. Right. Yeah. Welcome to the North Star Podcast, dude. Hello. What's your name? What's your name? Jonathan. Uh, can you talk into the mic? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, what grade are you in? 11th. Where? What awesome. do you do, man? What do I do? Is there anything like you do? I can bend my thumbs. You can bend your oh, thumbs? Oh, Wait, yeah. can you shout out to the camera real quick? Oh, dude, that's sweet. Yeah, I know. I but are you, like, I, I mean, like, are you, like, involved in anything here? I do orchestra. Yeah, what's oh, up? What's up with that? Oh, uh, we have a concert on Thursday. And yeah, I heard about that. Uh, do you know Owen versus Luce? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so wait, what, do, what instrument do you play? I play bass. Oh, so you. Oh, so oh, so you like really know Owen versus Luce? Yeah. Gotcha. That's gotcha. A, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 um, what's your favorite part about orchestra? Um, you get to meet a lot of good people, and it's just it's a good way to spend your time. You really feel like you're doing something. What's your favorite piece you've played? Um, there's a student composed one that we're doing right now. Oh, wow. That's interesting. You guys are composing, like, your own thing? Oh, uh, yeah, two of the students in Symphonic, they're doing a piece for, I think it's, like, a state competition or something, and they're having us play it. That's sweet. Is it for, like, uh, KMEA? I think so, yeah. Isn't, is Sage and Han in, K in the KMEA band? Uh, I think he... I think it was an all state orchestra. Yeah. It's love Sage and Han. Shout out yeah. Sage. Shout out shout out Sage and Han, dude. Like, he's probably never gonna listen to this because he, no, he doesn't he, have Spotify. He doesn't care. Anything. Well, no, he won't because he doesn't have Spotify. We can change he that. has YouTube. He probably there's no way he doesn't have a YouTube. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, he probably has a YouTube. Yeah, anyway. He sees this. Yeah. I used to play cello in like fourth grade and I kinda wish I would have stuck with it because it was actually pretty fun. But you know, I like I regret not doing it. I played trumpet. Oh, you look like you played trumpet. Yeah, Logan, Logan's in here, and uh, he he played trumpet. You look, you really look like you played trumpet. I, what is that supposed to mean? You just look like you played. That's a basic instrument. Yeah, <laughs> that's a basic okay, instrument. That is. Okay. Trumpet, trumpet is a basic yeah, instrument, fine. and that is a that's a basic thing for you to play. I played saxophone because I was cool. Saxophone's a basic instrument. No, it's not. Is trumpet is trumpet a basic instrument? Trumpet's definitely more basic than saxophone. Yeah. What do you mean? Speak on it, dog. Like saxophone's like okay, saxophone okay but saxophone speak on it, dog. Just because it's more quote unquote complicated does not make it more less or like less basic. Like it's still basic. Complicated is the opposite of basic. More exactly. Yeah, dude. Well, come as, on. As an instrument, no. As an instrument, Talk to him. I mean, like, I mean, like, Talk to him. I mean, like, for how many people do it? How many people like? That's what I mean by basic. Do you, th do you think more people play trumpet than... Have you seen the trumpet section? Like, no, actually. Yeah. I quit trumpet in seventh grade. I'm actually, sure is I never I did it for like three years. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, I don't care. And you guys are wrong, and I'm done talking. I like this guy. I like this guy. He proved my point. I like this guy. He proved my point. Who's the loudest? I would overpower you guys if you guys played cello and I was playing trumpet. Uh, Who's the most annoying? Trumpet. Trumpet. Trumpet is the most annoying. Who can... um, who can do this scale still with their fingers, even though they haven't played in years? Uh, I don't know how it goes. I can go up. I can't go down. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, he's claiming. Look, look me in dead in the eye in the camera, w- viewer at home. All right. This this man, Jack Toll, is claiming that he knows how to play the trumpet when he does I, I not did. know how to play the I trumpet. Did. No, he it's is. He does I've not know how to play the trumpet. He more. said he can't go down on the scale. He can't go down on the scale. The fact that I can still go up is impressive. Therefore, he doesn't know how to play the trumpet. Do you remember how to play the cello? No. Exactly. I never claimed that I did. I didn't claim that I did. I said I used to play. I used to. No, you said you claim. You said that you know. When? You just said that said you know how to go up on the, up on scale. the scale. I, I went up on the scale. Oh, my God. I did exactly this kid, what I said. This I kid. This kid. No, I, hate no, this kid. I hate this kid. I hate this kid. I hate this kid. I hate this kid. Mad that I'm proved you wrong. Oh my god. Anyway, Jonathan, thank you. Thank you for, for that. That sparked a very interesting Thanks conversation. Thank you, Jonathan. I like that kid. I uh, like he said that about everyone so far. I do, yeah, because everyone we've had on is cool, man. I like that kid. No, no actually we we were we were trash talking you guys after you left. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Can you guys go find another person? You got you guys are just recruiters now. Yeah, recruiters. Speaking of recruiters, find find someone that's been recruited in football. <laughs> go, how are you doing, Tyler? Go find Lucas. Yeah, Tyler, how are you doing? <laughs> we, they're just like scouts. Dude. They're just scouts. They're just finding people. They're just finding people. This might be like a mess of a thing to edit. Oh, dude, yeah, I, I feel mean, so bad for Dylan. I feel so bad for Dylan. Ignore all of our requests. I hope not. Throw up a photo. Dylan's editing this. Yes. Maybe. I don't know who they find. Who'd you find? What's up, dog? What's Who are name? you? Eli? Sit, sit down, sit, sit down, dog. Sit down. Sit down Papa squat. Papa squat, dogs. Can you guys uh, introduce yourselves. Talking to the mic. You gotta talk to the mic. I'm mics. Eli. I'm Charlotte. What grade are you guys in? I'm a sophomore. I'm a freshman. Dude, Ooh. dude, we got siblings on here. That's crazy. Are you guys? Word. Or, um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Dude, <laughs> bro. That's impressive. You do that so often. Shut up, man. Bro, what do you guys do? Do you guys do anything? I work. What do you work? I work at Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers. What are your What are your opinions on the workplace there? The um, I feel like all teenagers should get a job in fast food so they can deal. Wait, can I cut? No, no, okay. no. So I could deal with people's BS. That's fine. Good, good save, good save. Yeah, uh, I work at uh, Trader Joe's, so I don't actually have to deal with people very often. Well, I, when I'm a register, I do have to deal with people, but they're usually pretty polite. I work at Starbucks. Those people suck, dog. <laughs> people, those people are those. I hate those people. I hate those. Yeah. Shut up about that pinkity drinkity Reggie. Oh my God! What do you do, dude? Um, I don't do anything. I used to work, but I don't anymore. Okay. And you said she you're got fired. You, you, you got fired? Oh, Whoa! Got fired. I need to hear this story. Fired. So basically, I worked as a hostess at um a really. Yeah, talk more into the. Oh, mic. sorry. Dude. I worked as a hostess. Um, at a really not well managed restaurant. Can we? Can you it say the coaches. name of the restaurant? It was Coach's Bar and Grill on 135th. Ooh, I know Ooh. Yeah, their management sucks. They use child labor. Oh. Because I'm legally, Sick. I'm legally allowed to work a certain amount of hours, but I was working 35 on a school week. Whoa! <laughs> so, um, Whoa! I, coaches. I don't know for sure why they fired me, but um. Probably because they were. Because I think it's because I yelled at some woman. Laws. It's because okay. she got angry at an old couple. Oh. Listen, listen, listen. Well, what were they doing? Why, why were so you this angry woman then? asks for a place in the shade, but like she was talking about places with shades. So I yelled at her because her <laughs> words are wrong and not my words. So it's not my fault that she messed up. For real, dude. For real. Yeah. Yeah. Old people. Suck. But the customer's always right. No, I don't. I don't know. But I don't. Actually, I don't think I, I'd go I that far. Actually, the they're always, always wrong. Right. They are. They it's are often the customer. Old yeah. I don't think I'd go that far. Old people do not old suck. Some some old people are so. They're nice either though. nice or they're like horrible. True. Yeah. That's that's pretty true. I don't know. I've I've experienced mostly nice people. There was there was one person that I had that was not the nicest, but I mean they weren't like completely rude. It was more like they just couldn't hear. Yeah. And they were kind of rude about it. Huh. Huh. Oh oh um, <laughs> Logan Logan's talking about the fireworks stand that I worked at over the summer with him, and Nick Reinig. Shout out Nick Reinig. Um. 
we we get uh we get a wide variety of customers <laughs> at a fireworks stand. <laughs> they we get they everywhere from effects. um the s- the standard uh Just redneck press the type of person, and we get the uh oh person with the s- the soundboard. <laughs> well, uh, I think the volume's up, so they're gonna hear that. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna hear that. Okay. Anyway, the fireworks stand uh we get a wide variety. We get the classic suburban people, um, and then we get like the redneck. Give me your loudest firework. Type yeah, people. yeah. I love, I love both. It's so interesting. Um, L- Logan has a goal of selling the most expensive firework every every year, and he sold out last last year. He sold out the most expensive firework. Like he, people will just come and be like, "What's what's your loudest firework?" And he just shows them the most expensive one. And he's like, "Do you have a budget?" And they're they're usually just like, "No, nah, not really. Just give me your loudest thing," and then they buy it. <laughs> like we don't even know what the firework does. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just not yeah, even good. So, and we, some, we look up like, like the fireworks all there are like pretty qual, like they're all quality fireworks. It's a good fireworks stand, but um, like we don't know what some of them do, so we kind of just suggest them and just hope that. I like gets cheese. Them. You like what? Cheese, That's dude, cool. for real. That's not true, because I remember like three years ago we were at a food truck and you asked for no Havarti cheese on that thing. Remember when mom had that friend over? I like Havarti no, cheese. No, you didn't because you asked for no Havarti. I do love Havarti cheese. It's my it's my He's favorite lying. out of the smoked cheeses no group. Havarti. What's your fa- what's your least favorite cheese then? Um, I don't like tomatoes. <laughs> That's not a cheese, not dog. Cheese. <laughs> no, but I just don't like tomatoes. Know, That's unrelated though. He hates tomatoes because one time we were at Taco Bell, and he got t- there was tomatoes on his. Yeah, I hate them. Did you throw it out? He threw it, he threw it out the window. Yeah, I threw That's it out the window. No, it was like not. Out it was the like, window? It's like compost for the like earth. Yeah, but, but like. Okay, but if you throw it on the concrete, it's not going to compost. Yeah. That's not how that works. Well, that's, it's okay because I also don't like that's a waste avocado. Of food and money. I I Why did you go to talk about if you don't like cheese? If you don't like. Fine. What? Okay, what are you I just want to bring up that avocados are so disgusting and they're I don't right. like people who like them. They're really they're not disgusting. Nice. No, like they're they good. just taste like butt. I'm not even going to ask. I'm not, yeah. No, like. Sure, man. Horrible, so bad. All right. Okay. He's well, helping. well, guac is fantastic. I, yeah, you, guac is good. I like queso. Oh I my we god! All share our Chipotle orders. I don't yeah. really have a go-to. I just kind of whatever I'm. Feeling. I have one. I I okay. I got a burrito, brown rice, no beans, steak, uh, pico, sour cream, guac, cheese, lettuce. That's I know great. that. I know that off top. I get a bowl with white rice, chicken, uh, sour cream, cheese. Corn salsa, my favorite, and then that's underrated. I get both beans sometimes if I'm like feeling it, and then I'll get like a side of queso and chips. Their chips are very are not very good to me. They're just they're never like they're good. S- they're not yeah. salted. They're thin. Yeah, and I don't like them. What's your Chipotle? Do you have one? What was the question? Sorry. What's your Chipotle order? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, um. A bowl with white rice and chicken, but they always add too much chicken, so I do, like, half chicken. And then I get pinto beans and cheese and sour cream and sometimes lettuce, depending on... Because they always add too much lettuce. I feel like that's the most standard... That's a, very, that's a, ba- that's a basic Chipotle order. Yeah. I'm Are gonna, you doing I'm ASMR right, right now? There. Oh. Yeah, Dude, that's 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 your spe- that's yeah, their special honestly, thing. Honestly, I don't. Uh, you guys probably have exceeded your time limit. We're honestly, yeah, yeah, we yeah we got a five minute time limit. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank, yeah, thank you guys for coming for on. Having you guys me. Were yeah, to talk to you guys. Shout are cool. out to all you Jews out there. I love you. Yeah, shout out Jews, dude. Okay. I'm Jewish. I'm so sorry I brought them in here. I apologize for all of that. Shout out Jewish people. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> that's a, that's a new it's a new person. That's, that's a new person. person. That was yeah, yeah. I would yeah. have never, I would have never talked to those people had. That yeah, honestly, we're bringing we're bringing people together. We're bringing people together. Triplets. Spencer, can you can you see if uh, Huet w- is available to interview before the SC cards fill out? Yeah, we're always ready for you, Mister Huet. Oh, we should see if he wants to make his announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. It uh, doesn't matter. Place. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it. I'm getting. I'm Mr. Hewitt. Yeah. 
We've got pretty nice scenery. In, whoa. Oh We've got nice scenery in here. I forgot this table when it was. <laughs> like three pounds. Point one, five pounds. Yeah. Not very much. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to have Dylan cut this out if we can't talk about it. But, Mr. Huey, can you talk about this thing that you announced to us today? Or are do you not want to? Breaking news. Are we breaking is it, this could be to? breaking news. Yeah, I mean, the, the word is out. My job is posted. So Okay. Well, speak on it. Do you like to break the news speak on to, it. to the cameras? Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. To the people. I'm leaving BVN after 17 full years at, at Blue Valley North. I'm leaving. Oh, my. You've been teaching here as long as we've been alive. I've been teaching here as long actually, as actually you've been I've, alive. Uh, actually, no. I'm 18 years old. Shut up. When he was just a wee baby. <laughs> That, that actually is a weird thing to think about, to be honest. That is so strange. Oh, my gosh. And where are you going, Mr. Hewitt? I am taking a job as a creative director at an at a agency, a marketing web development agency. That's so, so cool. That's just, that's a complete, like, 90, d- I'm not going to well, say, like, 180, but, like, 90 degree turn. Yeah, because yeah, it's that's like, 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 that's like a, that's like a, that's like a 87 same, degree turn. Same, like, aspect of, like, kind of work with um technology and stuff yeah right? related yeah i mean basically the job will be doing a lot of what i do now but with a team of professional designers and developers and content creators so and how long have you been a teacher just like in general 20 years dude that is okay. that, that's that's a big change I that mean, is yeah, a really big it's change a, it's a big change for me gosh but you, you know like the fact is, every every profession, these especially these days, has to be learning focused and learning centered because there's if you're not learning at your job, you're gonna be left behind. So it's I'm really gonna still be a teacher. I just have a different it's a different role for me. Um, and honestly, being in this class with you guys has been the thing that helped prepare me for that transition, you know, to, to get to figure out how to do this, help me figure out how to do, it's going to help me figure out how to do that. So, and at this job, like you're not making videos at all. Like, well, not like at all, but like, it's really not like what you do anymore. No, I mean, I'll make, I'll probably still make, I mean, I'll definitely make things just like on your own. Yeah. And I'll be, I'll be collaborating with people on making things. Um, but you know, as the creative director, I direct the creative organization of the company. So I'm, I'm in a more like, what are we trying to do? Um, so I'll work with the people who make the videos, uh, one of whom is a former student. You know, so that's going to be super fun for us to be the same team again. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't, I feel like after working somewhere or in the same profession for like 20 years, it would be like so very hard to leave. Especially with, like, I, like I get into the habit of just, like, coming to the same place every day, and I'd just be like, man, I don't even, I don't even know if I, like, want to leave. But then again, I can also see where it would be, like, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Maybe it's time to go. Well, I mean, I've been super lucky. This is this is the best teaching job I've ever had, and it's the best teaching job I, that I know of, to be real honest. Uh, I don't think it's for everybody, but it's definitely suits me. But you're right. I think there's a, there's a certain amount of... Uh, reluctance to leave anything that's comfortable. I mean, not to get too deep on it, but that's why people stay in bad relationships. That's why people stay in, not that I have a bad relationship with my job, but in some ways, you know, if you feel like you can't be the person that you want to be because change feels weird, there's something kind of messed up about that, you know? You want to be able to be authentic and be yourself and so I really had to like overcome that and get over it and just be like, it's fine for me to, to do something different. It doesn't change anything about who I am as a person. Um, and it is scary, but you have to be like, well, I mean, and you guys are going through this. I mean, you're right on the cusp of doing a new thing. That's true. And you're leaving behind all the stuff that you knew. I mean, it's like we're in this, we're, we're like, we're kind of in this in a very similar position right now. You know, like I, I totally feel the anxiety that you guys are feeling when you're when you're looking ahead at a, a long hallway of uncertainty ahead of you, but you know if if there's any lesson to be drawn from what what I'm doing, it's that even if you think you know where you're going, like you don't know, like and and that you don't have to know because you can 
take an 87 degree turn and Eight, I forgot I said 87. Yeah. So that's yeah, you know, that's what, you know, that's how life works. I think we 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 perpetuate this idea here at school that you need to pick a path and that's what you're going to do. But that's not that's not how it worked for me. That's not I mean every like for me it's not about picking a path, it's about being on a path and then you see where that path goes and if it I mean think about walking on a normal hiking trail. Sometimes you're on a hiking trail and you end up at like a weird concrete like cistern that's old and you're like, oh, this is kind of cool, but the trail ends. You know, so you spend a while like hanging out at the cistern, like with your friends, you know, writing graffiti or something. And then at some point you got to like go a different place. You know, so that's kind of where I am. I've been at this concrete cistern, cistern writing graffiti for a while. Here we are. And now it's time for me to head back to the car and, and uh, go to the next destination. So are you admitting that you're the one who's been drawing graffiti in the foreigner bathroom? I can't. I can either confirm nor deny <laughs> on the podcast if it was me. I bet it was. It 100% was. See Spencer, Spencer smiling? It 100% was. We all know. We all know that uh, someone did it. Someone and did it. Yeah, someone did it. Who and may or may not be named yeah, I mean, Mr. Huet. A person did that. I am a person. Therefore, <laughs> Therefore it I narrows it down it to you. It narrows it down to <laughs> probably it was me. Yeah. <laughs> now, now that you're leaving, can can we get you to say the most controversial thing that you can think of about the school, North. about North? Uh, well, I mean, he does still have a quarter left, so I do. You yeah. do still have a quarter left, but I mean, on your way out, you know what What's I mean. What's your biggest hot take about North? What's your biggest hot take about North, Mister Huet? You know what? I would not be the the person that I am without this place. Like oh, my, don't get philosophical, on us, man. No, I'm serious. Like. <laughs> My hot take is I know, like I know that you guys don't, you don't see the school from from my perspective because you come and go. But if you think about it, like I've been here for almost eighteen years, and uh, I haven't always been doing this, and I wouldn't be able to do any of this if it weren't for the administration, like Dr. Ostrowski. From the I've known him since he we both came in the district the same day, you know. So I've known him from the start, and so when he came here. He was able to, to trust me. I mean, think of the crazy stuff that we look at this bathroom. He did let us do this bathroom. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, it, not just that. He 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 didn't even care. He looked at me and I said, "Let's do the bathroom." And he's like, "If this is a thing that you think, he's like, we'll do it." That's not a, that's not normal. You know, no. I know enough. I've worked at enough schools. I've known enough people to know that that's not normal. And um, so I don't. My, that's my hot take. Is this place is. It's good. It helped me grow. So, I feel like that's not that's not like the hot. Yeah, that's that's a lame lame that's a lame hot hot take, Mister Hewitt. And on top of that, I just ate a burrito from the from the cafeteria. Yeah, it was straight up delicious. Really? So I can't even have a hot take. I'm like you. I'm kind of like afraid of the of one of the lunch. Yeah, I'm afraid of the lunchroom burrito. That's. Have you guys had the burrito? The keto's good. good. I also the keto's are actually kind of I've also solid. heard reports. Once I've started being open about my burrito experience, someone revealed to me that they have a similar experience with the flatbread sandwich. The flatbread, the flatbread sandwich. I actually don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind really it. Really, not that bad. It's not I that bad. Like it. The pizza is kind well, of overrated. I, yeah, but it's it's a good go-to. It's it's, it's all go-to. reliable. It's all reliable. Right. That's kind of true. Right. But it's Pizza Hut pizza. It's it's all well, well, but it's like I said, it's all reliable. It's extra greasy. Right. You guys remember back in the day, elementary school, you had the cafeteria pizza, the square. That that was yeah. Because you can yeah. only get it at the school cafeteria. Yeah. Whereas Pizza Hut pizza, you can get it from Pizza Hut. So like, I don't have any incentive to get it from here. But if if we had the square pizza, I, I would eat that like every day. Oh my gosh. I would eat that like every day. I just wish they made pizza pops. P- pizza what? I mean, pizza I get pops. It. I get it. Do you know what those are? Gross, but it's like. Tell me later. Uh, yeah, I'm yes, a, I'm a actually. Fan. Circle pizzas, yeah. Circle pizzas, what? <laughs> like bagel bites? Are you saying? Are you saying like oh, bagel oh, bites? Oh, 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 the bagel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay. That's. Eh, it's, not, eh, it's not that bad. I've okay. Had a I've had one. You guys Gross. realize that their half of this conversation is not going to be on the podcast. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we know. We know. We know. <laughs> They've kind of just been here for. A yeah. While at this okay. Point. I believe we are running out of time. It's, though. it's a little. It, this whole this thing's been a little scuffed, but that's. This, okay. Yeah, you know what? Hey, listen, Dylan. I am so sorry. 
Anyway, we got to wrap things up be, here. It's going to be interesting for him. We got to we got to wrap things up here uh, cuz I want to eat lunch now that we're talking about yeah, it. Too. Mr. Mr. Hewitt, thank you for coming on. Thank you so oh, much. Everyone else who's been on, thank you for thank coming you on. For, for, for I should tell you since I'm here, you guys really got the podcast going and I'm and I'm proud of you for doing it because it's I've had this equipment for a couple years and people have made fits and starts. But you guys really we stuck with it. Stuck with it. You did it. Yeah, you did. It takes you have to to do the thing. You have to actually do the thing. Right, and we're doing the thing. You're doing the thing. That is the that is the motto I've known since day one with Mr. Hewitt is do the thing. Do the thing. You got to do the thing. You're doing the thing. So I love that about you guys. All right. Anyway, we got to wrap things up. I think we're running out of storage on the SD card. I'm Max Wolf, Jack Toll. That was the North Star Podcast. Dylan, I apologize. See you next time. Uh, Yeah. Tune in. Tune in again and spread information.